Okay, so good morning everyone. So welcome to our third lecture. Uh, tama, week 3 na natin, no? Week 3 natin ng FBS. So uh, good morning. And so can I ask everyone to open their cameras and for have to take a picture. And then later part is, uh, ayan, I will ask everyone to turn off it again. Ayan, so good morning. Ayan. Ayan, so nakapag-almosal na ba? Nakapag-almosal na. Ayan, nagaganda. Oh, Maria Eliza, si James, si James. Si Pearl, di ba? Di ba na Pearl Kila is life, di ba? <laughs> ayan, si Aika, ayan, and other, other one, other pa. Ayan, pwede natin uh, ma-ask to open their cameras. Ayan, ayan so pwede pa na, pwede, parang may guhit yung ano. May guhit, ah, okay, yung lightning sa harapan ng ano ko. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, So, hindi pa ako makapag-open ng class tapos po sa mga school na pa. So, okay, sige. Okay, so can I ask everyone to, uh, to smile? Okay, in 3, 2, 1, smile. Okay, thank you so much. Ayan, and for others na mag-review ng ating recorded file, no, uh, just comment your name lang and section and uh, in the comment box after uh, after you watch okay, this video of our recorded class, uh, recorded session natin. Okay, so let me share to you my screen. Okay, so we will go tayo with the third uh, lecture natin. So week three na tayo, no? So medyo advanced tayo sa mga nag-modular, no? Okay, so uh, ayan. So we will have the discussion about the table setup. Okay, so di ba nung nakaraan, pinagawa ko kayo ng restaurant layout. We understand the different uh, restaurants, mga type of restaurants, di ba? And also the... the different supplies okay that we need okay in order for the operation of the establishment or the residents are not being uh, compromised when the operation starts okay so now we will proceed to the our table setup okay so ito medyo ano to medyo mas susi nating gagawin ito okay kasi nga ang tawag nito is May mga iba't ibang gamit tayong ginagamit. And they, kasama din sa, sa last discussion natin, di ba, to discuss the different tools and equipments okay, uh, about doon sa ating lecture, di ba, ng ating uh, FPS, di ba, yung mga different flatwares, the glasswares. We also discussed the parts of the glass, di ba, and uh, the different types of glass and then the other uh, tools and equipments that we are using in uh, in our preparations of Uh, ating uh, restaurant. So, ayan. So, o oh, diba? <laughs> Naglalakad talaga yung teacher ninyo. Okay, so, the objective or the learning objectives of this uh, subject natin is at the end of the lesson, we will be able to then identify the different standards of table setup and enumerate the process. or the setup procedure. So the, ta the table layout okay, is the standard of the setup of the restaurant varies depending on the type of service and requirements of the customers. Fine dining usually required or preset tables before the serving begins. <clears throat> okay, This may not be practical to the casual, okay, casual dining natin. Okay, and uh, or cafeterias, pre-order menus will be required to complete the table setup before the arrival of the guest. Okay, so ang usually, ang table setup na ginagawa natin is for uh, mga fine dining setup daw. Okay, uh, fine dining setup, ibig sabihin, naka-pre-setup na yung kanyang mga uh, glasses, yung plates, yung mga, yung mga flatwares, pero hindi daw siya applicable sa mga fast food. Okay. Pero naman, ang advantage naman with the fast food is yung pagkain is prepared na. Okay, pre-prepared na yung pagkain. Dito naman sa fine dining, kung ano lang in order ni guest, then that's the time lang. Doon lang i-prepare ni chef. Okay, yung mga pagkain na yun. So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng fine dining sa mga uh, casual dining at saka sa mga uh, fast food natin. Okay, so uh, let's proceed to the other slide. Okay, sabi dito sa quote natin is One cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. Okay, sabi daw, hindi daw, uh, yung may mga tao daw, okay, na hindi makapag, uh, na hindi na, hindi makapag-isip ng maayos, hindi, maka, hindi ma magmahal ng maayos, o hindi makatulog ng maayos. Ito, which is hindi makatulog ng maayos kung hindi ka nag-dinner. 
<laughs> Ayan. May ganun eh. May mga ganung tao na uh, you need to take food before you sleep. And so ganun din. Okay, so since may mga tao na ganun, so the only the only point that we need to do, okay, is to give them a proper service in their dining experience in our restaurant. So how will be able to do that? Let's proceed to our next slide. Okay, so we will go tayo with our standard of uh, table setup. Okay, the standard of table setup natin is number one is completeness. Okay, so it means that all the all the utensils or glassware's that you need to use is complete. Okay, even even all the flatwares like example dinner knife, dinner fork, salad knife, salad fork, so spoon, uh, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, yeah, the appetizer fork, mga ganyan, the glasses, the white wine, the red wine, and the uh, the water goblet, mga ganyan, and the bread plate and bread and, bread and butter. Okay, so kailangan kompleto. Okay, hindi ka pwede mag uh, hindi mo pwedeng i-start yung operation kapag hindi kumpleto yung gamit mo. Okay, kasi bakit that is your standard, okay? You provide a good service, the completeness of your things. Okay, and uh, uh, the second one is as I said being complete, okay? It uh, it means that your things or yung mga ginamit mo is malinis and nasa good condition. Ito yung in-explain ko sa inyo na nakaraan na pag sabing good condition, walang basag, walang crack, walang yupi, walang bangas, mga ganyan. So that is the ano, that is the cleanliness and conditions of the equipment. So automatic, automatic yan kapag merong breakages, cracks, or pingas, or kaya at uh, natupi, natupi. Natupi yung ano, <laughs> yung... Uh, Uh, utensils natin. So, hindi mo na siya pwedeng gamitin. Automatic pasok na yan sa breakages natin or losses okay, ng ating inventory of uh, equipments. Okay, another thing natin is the balance and uniformity. Pag sinabi natin balance, whatever the distance of a dinner knife from dinner fork, that that should be the distance okay, also of the other uh, dinner knife, dinner fork in the other table. Okay, the distance between Uh, the, between the glass wheels are the same okay distance okay oh my god our my connection is unstable narinig pa ba ako class yes po yes po so yun is uh, ano, uh, ano natin dapat kumpleto tayo for that ay balance tayo for that so for example if the distance of uh of uh, the flat wares or the glass wares or any any wares that we place at the table is one inch okay from the edge okay of the table dapat lahat ng gamit mo all throughout with the different table setup dapat yun yung uh, ayun yung ano yun yung distance okay meron tayong rules no yun ha sa bawat table setup na gagawin niyo ang rules natin is uh, Ayan, ang rules natin is one inch from the edge of the table. So, laging may one inch tayo. So, uh, sir, kailangan pa ba namin yung ating i-ruler? Kapag, ruler? <clears throat> Kapag nasa industry kayo, kailangan yung i-ruler yan. Okay, pero since uh, nasa training tayo, as part of the te technique natin is you can use this thumb, okay, the thumb mark. Yung first, first ano ninyo, yung first guhit, ito, yung first guhit, doon nyo ipa-place yung ano nyo sa edge. Okay? Para makuha nyo yung distance okay, ng, ng inyong uh, flat wheels from the edge of the table. Sir, paano pag maliit yung thumb? Okay? Kumuha ka ng ruler. Sukatin mo, alin dito yung may one inch. O di ba may sakto? May ruler si sir. Alin dito yung one inch? Ito sakto yung one inch ko. Okay? For the thumb. Ngayon, for example, is medyo maliit yung thumb mo. Sukatin mo saan yung may one inch dyan. So that will be the distance okay ng inyong uh awag nito uh gamit from the edge of the table. Okay so that is for the ano the, uh, the one rule one the thumb rule or the one inch rule. Okay and also for the distance between the flat wheels okay kung ano yung distance ng dinner dinner knife mo at saka ng uh, salad knife mo dapat same distance yon dapat ng susunod na flat wares doon sa table setup you will see later what a different uh, setup that we uh, uh what that we will discuss later part okay in our discussion 
Okay? Another thing natin is the uniformity. Pag sabing uniformity, kung ano yung brand okay, na ginamit mo for the dinner night, dinner for dapat pare-parehas yan. Hindi pwedeng maiba yung klase ng tinidor. Makikita niyo yung makikita niyo yung class ninyo, makikita, makikita niyo yung class uh, kapag yung sa uniformity, yung pare-parehas na brand na dinner knife and dinner fork. Okay, so kung ano yung kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung style, okay, ng dinner knife natin, sir putol-putol. How about the others? Putol-putol din ba yung bosses ko? Hindi po. Ayun. Hindi so, po, sir. Nakadepende siguro sa internet connection natin kung putol-putol, no? <clears throat> okay. Ayan, so okay na bumalik na ulit yung internet ko. Malakas na ulit. Okay, so let's speak about the uniformity. Okay, another natin, if you're, if you, if ang brand mo ng glass versus ocean, dapat lahat ng baso mo, ang, ang, ano, ang brand is ocean. Kasi that is uh, a uniformity, eh. Okay, of your glass or, or of your... Uh, 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 utensils or wares that you will use okay, in our operation. So let's speak about uniformity. Okay, uniformity, let's speak about the, per, the wear, ha? I mean, yung sinusot, ha? Hindi yun. Table setup tayo. Okay? Another thing natin is the order. Okay? The order is the right arrangement. Okay? Of uh, the utensils or wares that we are using okay, in our table setup. Let's speak about the order. Okay, so ang rules natin in order, kung ano yung first pagkain na ating ino-offer, yun yun yung nasa outer. Okay, nasa outer ng ating uh, ating table, uh, na ating ng table setup. Tapos yung pinakahuling ikukun, yung yung bago magdumating sa main course, yung main course nasa inner, nasa inner part yung ano, yung kanilang flatwares. May chat ulit tayo. Sir, excuse lang po. Sobrang ingay po kasi dito sa hospital. Nagbabatay po kasi ako. Ilang days na rin po ako. Medyo hindi na rin po. Wala rin po kasi yung earphone na dala. Ayan. So, yun lang. Sige, Zyril. Pwede mo namang i-record na lang yung ano. Gawin mo, Zyril. Ano, mag-picture ka. Okay. Na nag-online class ka kahit nagbabantay ka sa classes. Baka mag-viral yun. Kasi sa KMJS, nag-viral yun. Charing. <laughs> okay. Joke lang yun. Joke lang. Okay, so that's for ano, that's for the order. Okay, the second one is the eye appeal. Okay, the eye appeal is the first impression of the table setup. Okay, doon mo makikita na uh, kapag balance, kapag uniform yung ginamit mong utensils, tapos nasa right order, okay, yung mga ginamit mo, okay, automatically it will give you a good impression to your eye na wow, ang ganda. Mapapawaw ka sa setup nila kasi maganda yung setup, ah, uh, Uh, balance, you, you have the distance, same same then. So that's for the order. Okay? And another thing natin is the, ano, the timeliness. The timeliness is the right time or the right timing to finish the setup. Okay? So if uh, the table setup requires you to set up for about uh, two minutes, then you need to set up the table for about two minutes. Let's speak about the timeliness. Okay? And uh, make sure that before the operation, Okay, before the operation is you need to finish the table setup. So let's speak about the six uh, standard of table setup, which is it in this class. And we will go tayo with the table setup procedures. O diba? Ang bilis natin. Okay, if you have a question class, huh, you can drop the question in the in the chat box natin. No? Okay, another thing natin. Okay, set up procedures. Number one, lay down the table cloth as illustrated. Okay, make sure the cloth is clean without the spots and not wrinkled. Yun yung purpose kung bakit meron akong shinare sa inyong video kanina from the GIS kasi yun yung sample ng practice na ginagawa natin namin kapag mag-lay down ng table cloth. Okay, kagaya na nakikita nyo dito sa picture, okay, ganyan na mag-lay down ng table cloth. Hindi yung binubuga ng ganon. Okay, so pagka-throw mo ng ganyan, hihilahin mo yan ng unti-unti. Okay, kasi iniwasan natin yung too much contact with the table cloth kasi ano yan, uh, it's clean, it is uh, uh, sanitized, so iiwasan natin siya makontaminate through our bare hands. Kaya iiwasan natin na matouch ng sobra-sobra or mahawakan natin ng sobra-sobra yung table cloth. Okay, so get a clean spotless table cloth with a size that fits to the table. Hold them between the thumb and the first finger. Okay, the rules of our table, dapat meron tayong 20 inches. Okay, sobra. Okay, from the edge of the table. 
example, if the, if the table is 30 by 30, ibig sabihin 30 yung kanyang width, 13 yung kanyang length, dapat ang table clock natin is 50-50. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong sobrang 20 inches okay, from the edges okay, ng table clock natin. Ay, ng tama, ng table natin. So, yun yung tama. Okay, para makuha niyo yung tamang distance or tamang laki ng table cloth from the table. Okay, so that is that is for uh, the table cloth. So dapat meron tayong 20 inch na sobra from the edge. Okay? So that na, nagets niyo ba class? Nagets niyo? Hello. Ayan, tiba yung kagaya na nakikita niyo sa picture, no? Di ba nakikita niyo sa picture? Ito yung edge na tinutukoy ko. Ayan. So, dapat meron siyang 20 inch na distance. Okay? From the edge. Ito yung edge natin. Okay? So, kung edge natin is 30 by 30. Okay? 30 by 30. Dapat ito, yung sobra dito, dapat meron tayong 20 inch. Okay? Nakuha ba? Nakuha ba, class? Yes, sir. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, ang total ng tablecloth natin Okay, ang total ang total ano ng table cloth natin dapat 50 inch. Okay, nakuha ba? Opo, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Table cloth ang pinag-uusapan natin diyan. Okay, so let's let's erase. Okay, let's we go tayo with another slide natin. Okay. Hold the cloth open towards and let the center fold run the straight at the middle of the table. Yeah, so nakita niyo sa picture natin, no? Next natin, make sure that the table uh, tabletop is also fully covered. Also, see that uh, see to it that the cloth is laid down such as the edges hang evenly to each other of the table. Okay, ang tinatukoy daw niya dito is kapag na-throw mo na yung, ano, yung table cloth at naayos mo na siya, make sure dapat pantay-pantay yung edges niya. Kung ano yung distance dito, yun din dapat yung distance dito sa side na to at saka sa side na yun. Nakukuha? Nagigets ninyo ba, uh, class? Apo. Apo. So next natin is, okay, is for sanitary services, cutlery should be placed on the table top that is not lined with the placemat or covered by the table cloth. In the absence of the placemat, the cutlery should be lined in a paper napkin. Okay, for the sanitation purposes, hindi na tayo pwede maglagay ng mga flatwares directly to the table top. So, we use a placemat. Kung lang placemat, we can use the table napkin. Okay, to place, to pay, to place our cutteries as you can see here. Okay, in the table. Okay, check the aligned tables and chairs. Uh, table, edge just the corner should be follow straight line and chairs must be evenly spaced. Remove from the service and any shaky or damaged table or chairs. Okay, before kayo mag-check ano, mag ng mga table, mag-lay mag -lay down ng table plot, isa-check ninyo kung yung, ano ba, yung table ba is shaggy. Pag sinabing shaggy, ito yung pag tinatch mo yung table, yung umuuga. Okay, kasi hindi balance yung paa, hindi balance, hindi tama yung floor, okay, or kaya tanggal yung isang uh, heels okay ng ng paa ng table so wag niyo nang gagamitin yon or kung gagamitin niyo man make sure merong naka at tawag doon yung naka-tamper sa ilalim na meron kayong ilalagay okay na pang-tamper doon sa imbalance or sa shaky table okay kasi bakit kapag kapag sinerve niyo yung ano table niyan at shaky yan kapag naglagay na yan ng mga pagkain at may mga tao na diyan automatic yon magsha-shake din yung ano so makaka-disgrace tayo sa service natin Okay, kaya iiwasan natin yung ganong klaseng uh, shaky na ano na, na na tables. Okay, another thing natin, kapag mag-aano tayo, magse-set up tayo ng chair, okay, with a table. Tama yung nakikita niyo dito sa ano, sa picture. Okay, para malaman niyo ang tamang position ng chair from the table is from the hanging clip. Okay, hanging edge of the table plot. As you can see in the picture, ayan, so itong dinadrawing ko, ang position dapat ng upuan is doon lang sa pinaka-edge. Diba kung ito yung plot ninyo, ito lang yung upuan. Okay, huwag yung ipapasok sa loob. Kasi pag pinasok nyo sa loob yan, kapag pumasok, pag umupo yan si guest, it will push. Okay, it will push the, the chair backward. So chance tendency noon, Kung, kung ginawa mo, pinasok mo yung puan sa ilalim ng mesa, ganun din sa kabilang side, 
Tapos ito lang yung distance nyo. Kapag may umupuna dyan, magbabanggaan yan. Okay? Kaya para malaman mo yung tamang distance ng isang table sa kabilang table is yung distance na dapat may madadaan ng tao doon sa likod ng kanilang mga upuan from this ano from this uh, scenario okay so nakukuha niyo ba class okay. nakukuha niyo okay. okay so ganun maglagay ng table cloth ha wala maglalagay ng wala mag sorry ng chair ha wala magsusuksok ng chair sa loob sa ilalim ng table okay ang distance ng chair from the table is from the tip ay yung mismong touch ng kanyang uh, chair okay hanggang doon Okay, so practice yan sa industry at practice din yan sa atin. Okay, so next slide tayo. Okay, so carrying the cutlery to the table using the bar tray. But sa atin hindi, sabang hindi bar tray ang ginagamit natin for the flat wares natin. Ang ginagamit natin dito is rectangular tray with tablecloth or liners. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, eto, imagine itong tray na to is re rectangular yan. Kasi rectang ang ginagamit, ang gumagamit lang tayo ng round tray or bar tray okay, kapag glasses or bilog. Okay, ang uh, ano natin, oh, tama, glasses lang natin ginagamit siya. Okay, yung rectangular naman natin sa mga plates, foods, and cutleries and the other things. Okay, hold them in the handle never by the tines or fork of the mouth. Ito yung tinutukin natin tines o. Oh. Ito, ito yung tines na sinasabi natin. Ito, oh, yung nguso, okay? Yung pantusok ng tinidor at saka yung nguso ng, ng, ano, ng kutsara. Huwag na huwag yung hahawakan, okay, yung flat wheels dyan. Okay, hahawakan nyo lang yung flat wheels nyo dito sa edge. Okay, pero konting, ano, konting intak lang, gon, konting hawak lang. At make sure kapag hahawakan mo yan, dapat meron kang gloves. Okay, kasi para hindi ka mag-iwan ng marka doon sa... Ano natin sa flatwares natin, sa utensils natin. Okay, so that will be for the, our first part ng ating discussion. And next, we go tayo with the second uh, discussion that we had. Okay, the basic setup. Okay, the basic setup natin, if pre-setup is required, follow the slides below. Okay, so sa atin, ang requirement sa atin is dapat marunong kayo mag-table setup. Okay, once the okay, once uh, you try your best, okay, you try your very best at your home, okay, to find this kind of utensils or flatwares, okay, in order for you to train yourself. Okay, kasi itong basic setup naman natin ibibigay ko naman sa inyo. Kasi wala kasi tayong face to face eh. Unless inalaw na tayo ng ano ng government to have a face to face. Why not? Okay, the school is open for you guys. Okay, to welcome na welcome kayo dito sa amin for have this kind of basic setup natin. But for now, uh, still level 4 pa rin tayo kahit parang GCQ na pero level 4 pa rin. Okay, and then we do the gradual lockdown. So still, uh, hindi pa tayo inaallow for the face-to-face -face based on the AITF rules natin ngayon. Okay, so learning objectives. To identify the utensils for the table setup and illustrate the different table setup. Okay, the first one is the breakfast. Okay, in the breakfast that we had, we have the flower vase, okay, on the center of the table. Okay, so dapat nandito yung flower vase natin. Flower vase. Okay, dapat nandyan yung flower vase. And also, the salt and pepper shaker should be beside of the flower vase. So dapat nandito yung salt and pepper. Wait lang, palitan ko ng ano. Okay, erase natin. Erase, 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 erase. Erase, erase, erase. Ayan. So, palitan natin siya ng kulay. Gawin natin blue. Okay. So, dapat yung salt and pepper natin nandito daw. Ayan. So, nandyan daw yung salt and pepper shaker natin. Besides, okay, of the flower base. Okay. So, we have... Uh... Wait lang. Ayan. So, to see the whole thing. Okay? And then, sabi dito, so okay na tayo dito sa flower base natin, no? And the salt and pepper shaker. The dinner knife and dinner fork with knife, with the knife on the right and the fork on the left. Okay? So, daw, sabi daw dito, dinner knife will be on the right. So, tama. Okay? On the right. Then, yung kanyang cutting edge. Okay? Dapat yung edge na nakaharap towards sa plato. Okay? Dapat naka nakaharap sa plato. 
hindi nakatalikod sa plato. Dapat yung kanyang cutting edge o yung kanyang shredded style niya, dapat nakaharap yan sa plato. Okay, and then yung ating, uh, okay, yung ating uh, fork will be on the left. Okay, so dyan nakalagay yung fork natin. Okay, so next, the folded napkin on the center of the cover. Okay, so check tayo sa table napkin. Okay, water glass on the right side of the cover. Okay, so check tayo sa water glass. Okay, and then uh, the distance nito ah, ang distance nito, okay, nitong dalawang to, okay, is one inch. Okay, one inch tayo dyan. Okay, one inch. Parang ang pangit naman ng one inch ko dyan. Okay, ang dami ko nang din na drawing dito. Baka hindi makamalito na kayo. I-clear ko na nga muna. Okay, ang distance nito dapat is one inch. Okay, one inch dapat yung distance nyo dyan. Okay, so next natin is uh, on the top, ayan o, oh, sabi niya on the top of dinner knife. So dapat ito, nandito. Okay, nandito dapat siya. Pero siguro, maybe, well, maybe on the 3D format kasi ng ano, medyo na, na side yung, yung dating. Pero dapat nandun siya sa may. Nandito dapat siya sa, ayan, sa so nandyan dapat yung baso. Okay, so... Another coffee cup and saucer on the right side of the cover. So coffee cup and saucer. Yeah, so very good yan. Yeah. Okay, so you can see makapansin ito yung handle, no? Yung handle, imagine yung 3 o'clock. So yung handle, kung ba parang, for example, if you had a clock. Okay, imagine mo merong clock kayo dito. Tapos 1, 2, 3. So dapat yung handle niya nandito nakaturo. Okay, tapos yung kanyang 4, 5. Yung kanyang teaspoon is... 2 and 5. Nagets nyo? Okay. So, dapat 3 o'clock yung handle. Tapos yung kanyang teaspoon. Okay. 2 and 5. Nakuha nyo? Nakuha nyo, class? Apo. Nakita nyo yung drawing sa kabilang side, no? Yung sa may sigilid. Nakikita nyo naman, no? Apo. Ayan. Ang pangit ang drawing ni sir. <laughs> okay. So, next we go tayo with the bread and butter plate. Okay. And the knife on the side and the bread, bread plate. Ayan. So, yan yung bread and butter plate. So, that is the breakfast setup. So, pwede nyo siyang ano. Ang gawin nyo dito is pa-practice nyo siya kasi later part makikita nyo yung ano. Makikita nyo yung uh, yung uh, ano yan, activity na gagawin ninyo. Alam ko, mag, alam ko sa activity nyo parang may drawing din ata kayo. So, you will just simply follow this one. Okay, merong hindi na banggit dito na sa breakfast, no? Yung kanilang luncheon plate, which is the dinner plate, and the cereal bowl. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the bread plate. Ay, bread plate. Of the plate and the cereal bowl. Cereal bowl will be in the center with underliner. Dapat may underliner yan. Ibig sabihin yung pangsalo sa ilalim ng bowl natin. Okay? So, that is for the breakfast. Okay? Next, we go tayo, a uh, question class, it is a breakfast setup. Question. Okay, question, question class. Wala. Okay, so next, we sit tayo sa, ano, sa next. Okay, the casual dinner. Okay, the casual dinner natin. Ayan. Okay, the casual dinner that we had here, the flower base on the center, wala naman yung flower base. So, dito yung flower base and salt and pepper shaker on the side. Okay, huwag na huwag yung kakalimutan yun kasi it's part of the setup, ha? Yung salt and pepper shaker. Dapat nandyan yan. Okay, salt and pepper shaker beside the dinner, fly, dinner knife, again, dinner knife, dinner fork on the side. Okay, yung edge ulit nakaharap sa plato. Okay, water glass on the right side. Ito yung water glass natin. And Also the, ano tong isa? Seven. Wine glass. Okay, wine glass daw tong isa. Okay, itong on the side ng number seven natin. The show plate is underliner. Okay, dapat meron tayong show plate. Ito yung show plate is the ano, uh, underliner siya ng dinner plate. So if your dinner plate is 10 inches, your show, your show plate is 12 inch. Okay, so that will be for ano. Bigyan ko kayo ng na actual demonstration ng paggawa ng table setup. Once uh, uh, na setup na namin yung yung bar namin for that, so I can I will give you a table setup. So meron tayong uh, demonstration, actual demonstration ng paggawa natin ng table setup. Ayan, thank you Rochelle for the yellow line. Ayan. 
Okay, then uh, we had uh, the soap plate. Okay, the folded napkin and sender on the soap plate. Okay, so ito ulit yung table napkin natin sa kilit. So let's check. Dinner knife, number one. Uh, dinner fork. Dinner knife. Soup spoon. Dessert spoon. Four. Okay, dessert four. Five. Water goblet, six. Wine glass, seven. Anong charge? Charger plate. Char plate charger or show plate. Okay, number eight. And then the dinner plate. So, tama tayo. Okay, for the setup natin ng casual dinner. Okay, let's proceed to our next slide. Lunch. Okay, sa lunch naman natin, o oh, bakit walang ano, walang, walang, ay di bali, wala, wala na, wala na siyang nakalagay na ano, na tawag nito na number kasi nakastate na dito yung mga position nila. Okay, yung kanilang water goblet, ang ating wine glass, the dinner knife. The teaspoon, the soup spoon, the napkin, the plate, the dinner fork, and the salad fork. So, nakalagay naman na yan siya. So, let's just follow the flower base on the center. Sinisipon na naman si Sarah. Ano ba yan? Mata ako sinisipon. Dama baba yung aircon natin. Mata ako sinisipon. Baba baba. Oo. Oo. Okay, so that's for the water, uh, the, the flower base natin, no? Then the salt and pepper shaker, okay? Then dinner knife, dinner fork, water glass, and then table napkin folder on this one. On the top of the plate. Okay, so next we go tayo with another slide. Okay. Once the order has been taken, okay, the complete of cutlery setup before service begins. Okay, so anong tinutukoy nito? Ibig sabihin, on the pre-setup natin, lahat ng mga gamit natin, nakalapag yan. Sir, sorry po na wala po talaga akong signal. Sir, di pa po kasi ako nakauwi. Pasensya na po. Okay lang, Marian, Marianela. Ayan. So, <clears throat> yung setup nyo, nakalatag yan sa table. Okay, then after na ilatag yan, ang mangyayari dyan is pagkitake ng order. Pag nag-take kayo ng order, may mga gamit na hindi usable na for the specific order of the guest. So, siyempre, pag hindi, pag hindi na magagamit yung gamit based dun sa menu or sa food na in-order ni guest, hindi mo na siya isasama. So, tatanggalin mo na siya doon sa table setup. Okay, mag excuse ka kay customer guest. Excuse me, ma'am. May I adjust your table setup? Excuse me, sir. May I adjust your table setup? Pag sinabi yung i-adjust, it means na yung mga gamit na hindi mo nagagamit na hindi kailangan sa op, hindi kailangan sa dining ng customer or ng guest natin tatanggalin niya na siya. Okay, so that is for the ano, the placement or the complete order. Okay? Okay, another thing natin, set up the bread plate and the uh, and and all size dishes on the left side. Okay, since so served natin yung ating uh, bread, okay, and other side dishes on the left side. Okay, make sure that the logo is positioned on the top the center of the plate. Okay, yung logo. Logo na tinutukoy natin dito is the logo of the restaurant. Okay, set up the water goblet on the top of the dinner knife at the distance of half inch. Okay, half inch in distance from the top of the dinner knife. If the dessert is ordered, set with a teaspoon on the, or fruit fork, okay, whichever is appropriate on the top of the cover. So, ibig sabihin, on the top, o ibig sabihin, kung ito yung ating plato dito, dito mo dapat ilalagay yung ating dessert spoon or fruit fork. Or dessert fork. Okay? So, if, the, if there is an order of wine, set up the appropriate wine glass on the right side of the guest and besides of the goblet. We will have also the discussion of right glasses and different types of wine and how would you be able to present the wine to the customer or guest natin. So magkakaroon tayo ng discussion about that. Okay, so see, as you can see in the picture, hindi ba ang ganda ng setup, no? Yeah. So iba't ibang klaseng table setup yan. Okay, based on the different rules and regulations okay, ng restaurant. Okay, I'm not saying na ganito yung setup na gagawin ninyo for a specific, uh, I mean, sa lahat ng restaurant, no. Kasi ma bawat, bawat restaurant, may, may, ano yan, magkakaiba sila ng rules and regulations. Basta ang importante sa atin is you know how to place okay, the different uh, utensils or wares that you, that, you, that you need to put in the table. 
okay, for the performance of your uh, activity. Okay, and of course, kapag nasa trabaho ka na. Okay? Another in natin, do's and don'ts of the table service. Okay? Ay, ito pala, meron pa pala tayo. Ay, ito lang yung ano, do's and don'ts. Mamaya ata meron pa atang do's and don'ts. Okay, illustration. Okay, illustration for completeness setup. Okay, we have the basic, semi-formal, and the formal. Okay, so illustration of the completeness setup or set meal. We have the basic. Okay, kagaya din na nakita nyo kanina. Okay, ito rin yung makikita ninyo. When, uh, okay, for the basic setup natin. Okay, ng casual restaurant. So yung pinakita ko sa inyo illustration kanina, ito na yung application. Okay, ng ano ng uh, ng gamit natin. So this one is a 3D, okay, a 3D format. Okay, of preparation ng ating uh, uh, stable setup natin. Okay? So as you can see in the picture, you had the setup, okay, the basic dinner fork on the left. Okay, dinner knife on the right. Then plate Okay. Ah, okay. So, na ko na yung point niya dito. Okay. Ang point niya dito is the proper placement. Okay. Yung pagkakasunod-sunod na ilalagay mo yung gamit. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, ano unang ilalagay mo? Tama nga naman kasi yun kayo na nakita natin yung mga setup. Ngayon, ang uh, pag-uusapan naman natin dito, paano mo ngayon siya ilalagay? Ilalagay mo ba siya ng sabay-sabay or isa-isa? Okay, sa setup natin, sa restaurant setup, isa-isa po natin inilalagay yung ating gamit. Okay, so for example, kagaya nito sa basic setup natin, una natin ilagay yung dinner fork and dinner plate. Okay, ngayon, dahil hindi mo alam ang distance, okay, okay hindi mo alam yung distance okay, ng dinner fork from dinner knife bago mo ilagay yung dinner plate. Okay, ano magiging measurement mo? Okay, ang magiging measurement mo, Okay, ng distance ng fork at saka knife is yung shoulder. Shoulder ng chair. Hindi shoulder mo ha. Shoulder ng, for example, this one, if this is the table, kung, yung, kung nakikita niya dito, ayan o. Kung ito yung table natin, okay, so ang gagawin natin, ito yung, hindi niyo nakikita, wait lang. Ayan. So kung ito yung table natin, So, kung ito yung table natin, no? ito yung table class, kung nakikita ninyo, distance ng dinner knife at saka dinner fork, but di pantay. Distance ng dinner knife, dinner fork, shoulder. Okay? So, ito yung shoulder niya. So, dito ako magalagay ng dinner, dinner knife. Dito ako magalagay ng dinner fork. Okay? Imagine mo na ito yung eh, distance ng dinner. Ito yung distance dapat ng knife at saka ng fork. Kasi kung wala ka pang plato sa gitna. Check the shoulder of your chair. And then automatically, you can place the dinner knife, dinner fork in between. Okay, so nakuha ba class? Apo. Apo. Tumutulo na iso. <laughs> okay, so wait lang, wait lang. Hold, hold, hold lang kayo. Na na tumulo yung ano. Tumulo yung si ni sir. Okay. So next natin is the dinner knife on the right. Okay. Then we have here the water goblet then the table napkin. Okay. So sa table, sa water goblet, dapat wala pang laman na tubig yan. Ha? Ito kasi may laman na tubig na eh. So dapat wala laman na tubig yan. Okay. Next, we go tayo with the next slide natin. Okay. So we have the semi-formal, uh, informal or the semi-formal. Okay, we have the salad fork. Okay, one. Then, two for the dinner fork. Three for the plate. Then dinner knife. Ano yan o? 
As you can see, 1 tapos 2. Sabay yung dinner fork at saka dinner knife. Okay, again, paano nyo malalaman yung distance okay, ng dinner knife from dinner fork? Okay, class. Paano nyo malalaman yung distance ng dinner knife going to dinner fork? Anyone na can answer? Paano nyo malalaman? Shoulder ng chair. Yeah, shoulder ng chair. Thank you so much, ano, Maria and Eliza. Nakikinig, nakikinig si, ano, si Eliza. Okay, so... <clears throat> Another natin is, okay, dinner knife, show plate or underliner. Okay, then you have the soup spoon, okay. So, serving plate and soup spoon. Then you had your teaspoon. Then after you after you finish this, okay, tong, tong ating nasa baba, then you start kayo upper. Okay, you had your red wine glass, okay, and the wine glass or the water goblet. So, water goblet is distance is a half inch to the tip of the knife. Dapat dito siya naka, dapat dito siya naka place. Okay, then yung ating uh, glass, okay, half, uh, di, one inch, then dapat dito yung ating wine glass. Okay, then another natin is for the water, okay, bread and butter knife, ayan, one inch naman. One inch distance from the tallest fork. Okay, from the tallest fork, okay, one inch, okay, distance, then that will be the basis kung saan mo ilalagay yung bread plate natin. Okay? So, hindi lang kayo basta lagay ng lagay ng gamit. Iisipin nyo lagi dito, kagaya na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina discussion, is the balance and uniformity. Okay? So, sa balance natin, and of course, uniformity is yung mga inches, importante yan. Okay? Importante yung mga inches na yan. Yung mga distance ng gamit sa bawat gamit niyan, importante yan. Okay? Okay. Another thing natin is Next setup, formal. Ayan. So, makikita niyo ang dami ng gamit. Ang dami ng gamit sa table natin, no? So, isa-isahin natin. Okay, we have here. Okay, we have here the salad knife, salad fork. Unahin natin yung nasa baba. Okay? Then, you had on the other side, dinner knife, salad knife, soup spoon, teaspoon. Okay, then you had your plate. Okay? And then, lahat to, again, ah, class, ah, distance to one inch. Okay, one inch and distance nito from the edge. Imagine that this one is the edge of the table. Okay, imagine nyo, ano yan, table talaga yan, ito yung stand niya. Okay, mayroon, nakikita niyo yung black side, no? Lahat yan naka one inch. Okay, sa so both side na yan. Okay, so naka one inch lahat yan. So one inch dito, 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 one inch, one inch. Ayan, so lang yung mga distance natin. Okay, then yung distance natin from the different flatwares natin, as you can see here, ayan, one inch, one inch din siya. Okay, so distance niya. Okay, from the from sa gamit. Okay, always remember yung cutting edge dapat nakaharap dun sa dinner plate natin or show plate natin. Okay, then the placement natin ng water goblet. Okay, one inch then sa taas niya dapat yung water goblet. Okay, followed by the red wine glass and then and the white wine glass. You can use the for, you can use the 45 degree angle going up or 45 degree angle going down. Okay, or you can do the diamond style as you can see in the picture, diamond style yung ginamit niya. So pwede rin yan. So it depends upon the it depends upon the distance or the the the, the parameter, okay, of the table kung ano yung ano natin, ano yung ang tawag nito, ano yung setup natin. Okay, whether yung pa-diagonal upward or diagonal pababa. Okay? So, kagaya ng drawing ko dito kanina, ayan, remove natin, no? Drawing na sabing diagonal pataas, okay, pwede yan. So, diagonal going up, pwede. Okay, pwede rin tayong diagonal, okay, going down. Okay, pwede rin ng paganyan. Okay, as a distance natin, pwede rin siya ng paganyan. Okay, so pababa. Pwede rin siya ng pa-diamond. So dito, tas dito yung red wine, tas sa taas yung white wine. Okay, so pwede yung ganyan. Okay, now kuha ba? So that, those are the distance and mga placement. And then, then we have the dessert fork and dessert spoon and then the bread and butter plate on the side. Okay, so that is for the formal table setup that we had. Okay, another thing natin, note. First and the basic a person basic rule to get your sta started is the utensils are placed in order of use from the outside going in. 
So, you see, you see, you see, as you can see in the picture, ibig sabihin, ang unang gagamitan ni guest dito ay teaspoon for your appetizer. Then followed by the soup spoon for your soup. Okay, then you had your salad knife and salad fork okay, for your salad. Sir, but walang tis, wala naman tayong tis fork eh. Walang walang partner ang teaspoon. Okay? Kaya wala siyang wala siyang sa side sa kabila. Okay? Wala rin naman tayong soup fork. Para sa yung soup fork. Okay? So wala. So soup spoon. So wala rin siyang partner. Wala rin siyang ano sa kabila. Okay? So that is for the ano the the note natin. Okay, from outer, yung unang gagamitin niya na sa outer part, then yung gagamitin niya uh, sa sunod, okay, will be on going to the inner part. Okay, second rule, with one with only a few exception is forks go to the left of the plate and knives and spoon on the right. The oyster fork is on the fork placed in the right, okay, of the setting if it will be used. Okay, kung meron tayong appetizer, okay, like for example, uh, snails or escargot or kaya uh, mga snails natin, ito yung mga suso. Kung meron kayong dessert na uh, dessert na appetizer, okay, ang ang ano, ang teaspoon papalitan natin siya ng escargot. Ito yung tinidon na mayroong dalawa lang. Ano, may dalawa lang yung kanyang hook. So that's the fork, the only fork na ilalagay mo sa kabila kasi wala naman siyang partner on the side. Basta pag walang ka-partner, nasa right side. Okay? So, pag may mga, may mga ka-partner, yung ka-partner yan nasa left side. Okay? So, yun yung rules natin dito. Okay? Another natin is, finally, only set up the table with utensils. You will see. Not serving soup, then no soup. Soup spoon is for you. The, the, the soup, soup. <clears throat> And finally, sabi dito, only set the table with the utensils you will see. Not serving soup, then no soup spoon for you. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang menu order mo, nakabaris kasi yung mga utensils mo, depende sa sa pagkain na in-order mo. Okay? So, yung mga pagkain na in-order mo, so, yun lang yung ano, yun lang yung uh, ilalagay na utensils doon. So, kung wala kang soup, then wag ka maglagay ng soup spoon. Okay? Sa table setup. Makakuha ba? Okay, ganun lang yung ano note natin doon. Okay. Ayan, so ito yung full setup natin, di ba? Kung makikita nyo yung dito, kung makikita nyo yung picture natin. Ay. Ayan, ito yung setup natin. From this empty place to this. Okay, so it happens. Okay, from this, uh, from plain na plain table, tapos pag nilagyan natin siya ng full setup, ganito na yung magiging ano niya, status niya. So this is good for four people. Okay, four people yan. Okay, so that will be for our discussion for today. Ayan, kasi wala na siya setup. Okay, so let me discuss to you the different activities that you will do okay, for this week. Okay, so the first one natin, activity. Okay. Okay, so the question is to identify the group or name the following based on their position. So we have here left side on the right. Okay, so let's see. Ayan, so as you can see here, dito, kung ito yung picture niya, Alin dito yung nasa left side? Alin dito yung nasa, nasa center? Alin dito yung nasa, nasa right side? Okay, so isusulat ninyo, okay, isa-isa. For example, you have your uh, JPEG ulit to, ha, class, ha? Walang magpapasa sa akin ng dot .docs. JPEG siya. So, kung mali, edit mo siya sa PixArt. For example, left side. Alin lagay natin dito? example, bread plate. So, lagay mo dyan, bread plate. Okay, another thing natin, blah, 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 blah na yan. Sunod-sunod na yan. Kung ano yung gusto mong i- ano dyan, so, ilagay dyan. Okay? So, sample lang natin yan. Okay? So, lagay nyo lang, ilista nyo lang siya sa may kabila. Okay? So, 20 points yan, no? Okay, 20 points siya. Clear natin yung drawings natin. So, free form. JPEG ang i-upload nyo yung class. Ha? Again, JPEG po. JPEG. Okay? So, let me go back. Ano na to? 
Okay, let, let us back. Okay. So, select natin siya, then bigay natin. Okay, so today, uh, the date natin ng open natin siya is on uh, September. Yeah, today. Today is September 28th. And they, then the deadline, okay? Ang deadline ninyo will be on October. Bilis natin, no? Kakaumpisa ng klasa ni October na ngayon. October 5. Okay, then give natin siya. Okay, that is for your activity. Then quiz. Okay, quiz natin. Check natin yung quiz. Okay, identify true or false. Okay, again, for those students na under ng modular, for those who will listen to our recorded uh, notes natin, please write your answer in a bond paper. Write your name and section and your subject teacher. And also, don't forget your subject Okay, but white band paper po tayo. White band paper. Okay. Okay, on October 5, that is 4. Okay, let's give it. Okay, next, another thing natin is we have the homework 3. Okay. Huwag na natin ilagay yung ano, work, homework 3 natin. Okay, we have here the activity 3.2. 3.2. 3.2. 3.2. Identify and name each item. So, let's see the question. Okay, so the the file is that .docs. You need to download. Okay, then pag i-upload nyo sa, sa akin, huwag din that .docs. Okay, ang i-upload nyo sa akin na file is picture. Okay, for those who will submit documents, okay, for anyone, okay, uh, I will not accept it. Okay? I will not accept it. Accept it. Kasi paulit-ulit na tayo sinasabi natin na ang i-upload nyo sa akin laging file is either PDF or JPEG. So, are we clear on that class? Clear yes, sir. So, ito naman, deadline naman natin ito is next week kasi pa natin. Ay, next. Uh, so, Saturday pa kasi ito. So, this one, okay, ang deadline natin ito is open na siya ngayon. Okay, pero ang deadline natin will be on September. Ano, uh, will be on October. October October 4. Ano ah, no no, October 11 pa na. October 11 ang deadline natin. For September 'yan. Ah, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. October 9. Ayun, October 9. Ang deadline natin nitong isa kasi Saturday yung ating second session. And since we already discussed the whole session, okay, for the day, so Yun lang naman. Okay, for the quiz on the side, you will start. You will start the following: indicate the life or or light or light right or left. So yun lang yung tasagutin yon, right or left. Okay, so bigay natin siya. May girapan ako sa lita kasi misi kung e mo kubo kasi misi ko na ako. Mino mo naman ako na vitamin C. Okay, so okay na tayo, September 19. And your deadline will be on October 9. Okay, so that's it. So you have four activities, no? Okay, four activities na binuksan ko sa inyo. So check ko lang siya dito. Tanggalin ko na yung requirement ng homework 3. And then sa lesson natin, week 3, tanggalin ko na yung assignment 3.2. Okay, so pati yung... Uh, motivation, wag na yan. Panggulo lang sa akin yan. Kasi we already discussed naman na yung uh, ano, dami lang. Okay, so your week 3 is unlocked. Okay, and you can start now your activity. So any questions, class? Any yeah. questions? Wala naman, no? So yun lang. And for those who will uh, listen our recorded files, so please uh, uh, ano lang natin, uh, please don't forget to write uh, your name or comment your name and then uh, your section and then your branch kung saan kayo. Ayan, so yun lang naman ang ating uh, notes for tonight, ay for today. Ayan, so any questions class? Kung wala ng questions, can, can I ask everyone to open their cameras and to have a picture again for our second attendance natin. Ayan. Good morning. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Ang gaganda na mga kasama ko ngayon. Diba? Ano, may makasipon din ba kayo? <laughs> Ayan. So, let's have a picture in count of three, two, one. Smile. Okay. So, thank you, class, for joining us our session for today. Ayan. 